First game, best of seven, opening round of the playoffs here in the NACL. And see if we will indeed find a regulation goal, of course. These two teams knowing that it's a seven game series, they have the goal! Villain finds the back of the net and turning point, strike first. And if you were hidden potential, that is a massive punch to the gut. You're dominating in the first two periods. You come out in the third, you're feeling good. You just know if you keep playing the way you are, that you'll get that goal to go in. And then just one mistake on your own end and it causes a turnover. Villain puts it in and turning point from being really just kind of pounced on in the first 40 minutes. All of a sudden, they're in the lead playing well defensively and his potential, the pressure shifts over to them. Now, now they have to respond. We were talking about the idea the longer this game goes without a hidden potential goal, the turning point might just be able to find a way, and indeed they did. The opening goal for Bill, and he's not done! Snipes at short side, 2 nothing. turning point in the blink of an eye to kick off this third period. This game is a funny game, man. I mean, literally, we just said it. I mean, if you're hitting potential, you're feeling so good going into this third period, and all of a sudden, Turning Point gets the goal after the turnover in your other end, and then a minute or two after that, they get a second goal to make it two to nothing, and it goes from hidden potential having the advantage to all of a sudden Turning Point really being in a good position with that two-goal lead and playing so well in their own end defensively. Man with the puck there, Billen sending it forward. He has both goals for his club. That shot broken up. Around the back of the net, knock loose the feed in front. They score three nothing turning point here in the third. An unbelievable turnaround for a club that was on the back foot again for the entirety of this game up until puck drop in the start of the third period. And how about this, Tugi? Three shots on net this period. Three goals. Every time they have put the puck on that with an hot opportunity, they have taken advantage of it. And once again, that was just a turnover for hidden potential in their own end. They're trying to clear it out and get a breakout going, but that poke check there from one of the forwards of turning point create that loose puck. A nice job there defensively on the four check to get that opportunity. As you see right there behind the net, he gets that poke check, gets the puck, and an easy pass across over to his fellow winger to get that goal to go. And man, turning point with a turning point when that third period started. They have just been all over it and taking advantage of their opportunities when they've gotten them. They may not be a lot of opportunities, but they have taken advantage of them. And that's what matters here in this game. A three nothing lead and hidden potential. They have a lot of work to do to get back into this one. Dings looking CT, wanted that extra pass for the one timer, broken up. Blue bank pass, ripping, rebound, it's in. Insult to injury, make it four nothing for turning point. Will technically count as an own goal, and that's okay, but what a third period to propel this team to a victory here in game one. It's all leading to February 25th. The winner of the NACL will find their way to Helsinki. Two clubs that can make something happen here in the postseason. Problem is, you're going to get through one another to kick things off as Josh is robbed. That left pad of Stonewall. Who will find this breakthrough? One goal could be enough. Wouldn't be surprised to see the same thing happen. One goal leads to three, four. This is like as close of a game as it's been by the end of it. Here's Soilos trying to find a way through. They score! What a net drive from Soilos! And the right place at the right time. Who else would it be? Villain has another goal in this series. And it's turning point with the one nothing lead. Soilos numbers here. Beat across, big stop by General and another one. Nearly a third. Soilos, that one towards goal. General has to cover, plays it out. Two seconds and somehow, some way, turning point with back to back shutouts on hidden potential to kick off this best of seven series really turn to the tail is in this one it has not gone as expected but it's turning point now home side of things the north american championship league the nacl here will take on the winner of the european side of things the ecl elite division shot scores 
living up to his namesake, ripping top shelf, love side, and a one nothing lead off the post and in. The opportunity dings across that one again, might have clipped the post, maybe the side of the cage. And a ill-timed pass, Augie, space across, glove save! Soylos again, just completely smothered in the neutral zone. CT cuts back, Dings holding, one-timer, they score! After nearly 190 minutes or so of play for turning point, what was it even gonna be? Finally, a goal for a hidden potential. Welcome to the series. It was off of that one-time play, nearly identical to the one that Nick had missed a little bit earlier in this period. He hits him again, Diggs does, and that time, make no mistake about it, Nick Vets pushed that right past Stonewall. You kind of had to figure that it was going to be a matter of time that Hidden Potential was going to break one open, and it couldn't have come at a bigger point. Game three, down two to nothing in the series. They're down one to nothing in this game. Had to get one soon. They do so there. They almost did again there, too. Wow. Ripping across, oh my god, he got it with the paddle! Maybe the blocker! An incredible set of saves for both goalies here in the second period. They might have to need one more, but they don't find it! CT does, and for the first time in this series, Hidden Potential have the lead, it's 2-1. to one. E.T. scoring for HP, and it, man, that could be a huge momentum shift for the boys in maroon and white. That could not have come to a bigger point. It feels like Turning Point had always been the team that it, when it was tied in the third period, they were the ones to come out and be the aggressors and get that goal. Now, it's up to Turning Point to have to get the tying goal. Hidden Potential being up now, going in this third period, is absolutely massive for them because now, Turning point in a little bit of an unfamiliar position. They're gonna have to find a way to do it from behind rather than tied. That is massive for hidden potential, not just for this game, but potentially for the series. Big, big goal there from CT. Maybe, just maybe, they might regret not getting that extra attacker out. Panda back across, Feds able to clear, and hidden potential have made this a series. They take game three. It was a close one, but they're on the board. Could be the series decider ultimately. Will it be a 3-1 turning point lead? Or will Hidden Potential tie this up at two apiece, setting the stage for a very late night of action? Again, looking for Nick Veds. The series started off with Dings really kind of beating the setup man for those one-timers. Worked out well to switch it over to Nick. Backhand scores! And for the first time in this series, we have a goal in the first period, ripping. Finds the back of the net on the backhand. A rare mistake from Hidden Potential Major as there was a whole lot of room in the slot, you know, in the slot in front of goal. Yeah, I give a lot of credit to the quick passing there of Turning Point. That almost looked like a play that you would see Hidden Potential make offensively. Start out with the defender and Panda getting that pass over to Rippin, who just passed it over. Or excuse me, that was actually Villain, and then who passed it over to Rippin for that quick play. And you mentioned it, there was a lot of space there down the middle, a little bit of a defensive breakdown from him potential. You have not seen that from them often so far tonight. But turning point, once again, taking advantage of the stakes. Loose puck will be recovered by Nick Veds. Drop back for Dings. Puck recovered. And a little bit of trouble there. Passing front picked off. Loose puck still bouncing around, and Dings scores! He's finally on the board in this series. And a very unfortunate goal if you're turning point, but Hidden Potential will take it. They will take it because they've had a couple tonight go off of for them. So I know they have zero complaints about maybe catching a bounce on that one. That's unfortunate there for Stonewall, but hey, give credit there to Hidden Potential. They were where they needed to be to get that puck in front. There was things right there was able to pick it up and just hit up on that right stick and put it in. And all of a sudden, it's 1-1-2 one, one, goals in the first period of the game. We're going mad here, too. Dude. Absolutely nuts. Live event in Helsinki. Join us for that as well. That one's sent all the way down. Opportunity there, and they score! Picture-perfect execution for Soylos. And it's turning point back in control under two minutes into the period.
And if Peyton Manning were somehow watching, he would be grinning cheek to cheek. That was Omaha, Omaha from turning point on that play. Just a beautifully placed slap shot there from the defender. I'm not sure if it was Lou or Panda to put that one on, but Soylos was jetting down that left side. He was able to beat the defender to get there. They for a really quick backhand there, an open look on Jenner who could not get to that left side post to stop that. Beautifully executed play for turning point. They're the ones to get that second goal. The question, can they hold on to that one goal lead with the same potential? They found a way to respond every time lately. Here's Rippin, tried to get it. The Panda in front of goal. Dance there and he scores! Augie on the short side finds the back of the net. Goaltenders need not apply here in game four. It's all about the offense and we're tied yet again. Test given, test completed, and test passed with a 100%. I mean, just around three or four minutes after turning point, get that goal to take the lead. Hidden potential go right back on the other end and find the goal of their own. This time it's Augie that joins the scoring party. And you said it to me, the offenses for both sides all of a sudden have just opened things up after in the first two and a half games, nothing was going for either side. Just so, so fun to watch how much this game has shifted and turned so far in the series. Maybe a goalie battle starting to ensue a little bit here. Could see, could be something that develops. Dylan able to recover this one along the half wall. Rip it. Down in the corner, back to the point. And a scores! The shot from the point. Villain gets a piece of it. And the antagonist to the hidden potential tree and strikes one more time. His name is Villain, and he's definitely been the villain of the story for Hidden Potential. I mean, you can almost hear him laughing diabolically all the way over here because he has been a thorn in the side of this Hidden Potential team in one way or another, and that's a big one right there for Turning Point. To get that tip in front, scoring in a bit of a different way than we've seen either team do so, so far tonight. Big, big goal, and now Hidden Potential once again going to have to find a way to find the time to answer. Absolutely, as we pass over to Dings, they score! Augie finds the back of the net again, and we're tied at three. I mean, Augie went to the locker room, put on the backpack, and took it with him onto the ice. He has just been absolutely massive for hidden potential. Whenever they need a big play, whenever they need a big goal, he has answered the call. He does so again. Third time's the charm. Turning point gets a one goal lead. Hidden potential goes right back at them and finds the response. That has to be so, so frustrating for TXP and hidden potential. The momentum has to be on their side, but the real question, can they find the goal to get the lead? They can't keep doing this back and forth where they fall behind and they get a time answer. They have to get a goal that finds them up ahead of some point. Another quick turnover. Chance there for Villain. Good stop by General. And that is how you feel like Turning Point might win this game. Those chances out of nowhere. Augie stepping in, has space. He scores! The hat trick hero ties this series up at two apiece. The overtime winner, it's Augie. Who will grab that 3 2 series lead? A chance to end it all. In game number six, we are just about to find out. Back-to-back -back shutouts to kick off this series. Hidden Potential have battled back. Tied this up and taken the lead to kick off game number five. Nick Veds on the one-timer. How about Hidden Potential? We've used the term adjustments a few times in this series, and in playoff series, that's what it's all about. You're going to have to adjust at least a couple of times when you're playing top-end teams, and something that they have done is that rather than trying to force that one-timer to the right side with Dings, they flipped it and have tried to get it over to the left side in Nick Vez, and it has had a lot of success here over the last six or seven periods. Another goal for Nick Vez on that play from Dings to him, and boy, oh boy, it has really opened things up there between those wings. CT stepping into space, rifles one through the slot. Nobody on the receiving end of it. Soylos, dropping the rack for Lou. One-timer, they score! Turning pointer finally on the board. The man in front gets a piece of it. Soylos has the goal, and we're tied at one. We said they need to step up and make something happen. That's exactly what they did. And how about turning point? The way they set this tip play up, 
giving it over to the point, getting their man into a loss right over in the middle and just a nice job off that tip. Went high and hit the ground and just kind of trickled its way in. That is a really nice setup there from turning point at a point where they really needed. Didn't have a lot there offensively in terms of clean looks. So you know what they did? Created one for themselves with a play like that. A 1-1 game and man oh man, how big could that be to get the momentum back on this side? Over the line, CT, ding, shot, scores! There is a hero to be had, hidden potential, win their third game in a row as Nick Veds picks the corner and puts hidden potential one win away from the second round. Indeed, game six is underway. And hidden potential bounce back and win four straight games to take this opening round series. Oh, you button Step up, hit down off. goes Veds. Space there, mistake from Lou. Dings across to Augie, he scores! Turning point, very aggressive here in the first period and it comes back to haunt them. Augie has the goal midway through. Let me tell you, if you had a defenseman leading hidden potential in goals today, then congratulations, good on you. There's a crystal ball somewhere in the back of your room because Augie has been cooking ever since game four. I mean, the hat trick in that game, including an overtime winner, he gets the scoring start there. A nice pass right there from Dings as well. Just a great play there across a play that we've seen hidden potential try to get a few times that hasn't always connected. Does so right there for a one at the lead. Blue back for Dylan. Ripping good. Blocker save. Shot another great stop by General. That was Panda pinching in. Two on one. Shot scores. Again, hidden potential. Take advantage of a gigantic save in their own zone. And score down the other way. They extend the lead. And you know when they say... If you blinked, you may have missed it. Well, if you blinked, you did miss it with how quick of a rip that shot was. I mean, from pass to in the net in like an instant, I mean, you can barely even see the animation of the Vez making that one-time play. That's how much heat he had on that shot. A great play from him, Potential. That one time, he has been great all night. See what they can do. 30 seconds gone off the clock, trying to kill this off. Dings nearly turns it over. Can't clear it out, Lou is there. There's options trying to get the defense moving. Bill in the feed, they score! The game's not over yet. Puck finds its way to Rippin, who bangs that one home. Turning point on the board. Well, we said it. You have to score on the power play if you want to keep your season alive. And that is exactly what they do. And how about that pass over to Rippin from that left post all the way over to the right? Not a lot you can do there if you were general trying to make that sliding save. And Rippin, he's been an unsung hero in some of these games in terms of the scoring output for turning point. He has had a few big goals for his team. That's a bigger one right there. Probably his biggest all season. Has options at the point, Lou. Defensive switch. Loose puck taken away. Augie, can he generate the speed? He scores! Absolutely phenomenal work from Augie, who may have just won hit potential the series. I mean, what hasn't this guy done offensively for this team? I mean, breakaways, one-timers, backhands off the post, spinner. I mean, what more could you ask of Augie than what he has given you if you're hitting potential today? He Shut out in the first two games of this series. They come back to win it in six, knocking out turning point in round number one.